Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on the time zone. Now, when Ruto and Gashagwa announced that they will be attending the Sunday service at Nyahururu, SEK Diocese, the youth also organized themselves to protest against William Ruto, and they had a message to the bishop of SEK that please ask William Ruto not to politic in the church, Tell him that Kenyans are suffering and above all finance bill is uh, so punitive. They had a message and therefore they also promised to go and uh, be in that gathering and also send a message to the president. When this uh, was clear that they mean what they are saying, there was tight security at the Nyahururu SK diocese. Just accessing that event, it was not easy. You go through security screening for you to attend. This was so tight security that we have ever seen when Ruto is attending a Sunday service in our churches. It has been normal. He just come and that is it. But this kind of screening was not happening anywhere. This time round, it was very tight. Even bishops and pastors were screened for them to access the event. Look at that. <laughs> when it reaches a time where, where you doubt even the men and the women of cloth. <laughs> Now, despite all these security checks, the screening, youth were camped outside that event. And for them, they were clear. They had a message for William Ruto. And because they were locked, they said that they will deliver that message even when they are outside that event. But within that premise, Yote Yawezekana Bida Ruto. They refer to William Ruto as Mwizi. They are still saying that reject finance bill. This was happening at the Nyahururu SK. A church where the event was happening. <laughs>
Now, as we continue with the final discussion, just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not, not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to our talented brother Samasa. Thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, Gen Z are very serious, they are very determined, they are so much focused. They have a plan and they are actually executing their plan. It is a protest. This protest is not violent. They just have a message and they are so much organized. There is no tribalism in all this. The youth are so much focused. They have decided that they will not focus on a squirrel. For them, they are hunting and uh, if it is an antelope or if it is a gazelle, if it is an elephant, they are focused. They will not waste their time focusing on squirrels. Squirrels means you bring in those tribal things, you bring in the, the, the issue of stone throwing and all that. You focus on the message and uh, focus on the person that you have targeted for the message. They are very organized and so much determined. I will bring in more videos to show you how the youth spend the day in the church. They decided that they, they are going to take the message to the church and they let, let Ruto understand where the church is going to put him. And now bishops, pastors and priests have been forced to declare their interest in the finance bill. They are with the youth, not William Ruto. So here it was clear. Despite all the security checks, and the reason here for the security checks, they wanted to identify the people who have been hired to be part of this event. Say that those who have been hired are the ones allowed inside. If you are not hired for this event, accessing it, it was a nightmare. You cannot. So that's why they put all the screening, because they were so much afraid of being heckled, a president being heckled in his presence. So there was fear of that because Ruto was going definitely to lose his popularity immensely. Of course, he has already lost. But now, the real perception that he has been heckled in his presence. So he was avoiding that confrontation a direct confrontation with the youth. They had to hire people, screen and understand how and who you went to, who you went to, things like those ones. Love when you have to be Reason avoiding direct confrontation with this Gen Z youth who have decided that it is time to say no to oppression and tell it direct to the face to the oppressor. They are saying you are the Kana Bila Ruto. So if you thought that you are the savior of the youth, the answer number one, they are saying without you, everything is possible. Therefore, it is a rejection of William Ruto. David talked about vote of no confidence. Should we pass something that is poisonous just because there is fear of Ruto losing popularity? We should not. Let him come down and reason with the youth. Imagine it has reached a level where the president is not sure of his security. Therefore, he has to screen people before you attend an event where the president is attending. Do we figure up? He cannot trust anyone. Sasa lazima security meongezeka. They have beefed up the security. Sasa haka wale wakulinda watu huku wako. Wata wata. Sasa. Yani Ruto is going to spend more on his security. Wengine watabarisha tu nguo za raia kwa pale lakini wale ni ni, ni police wakae tu pale. So the only gathering that Ruto is going to address they are police in Sevilla. Hapo sasa ndio mambo yamefika. Kenyans have lost faith in William Ruto. They have lost trust in William Ruto. They have no any confidence in William Samoy Ruto. That's why they're saying Yota is the kind of bill away. So protest is going on as youth promised. They are actually delivering their promise. We are going to protest. We will be in, in your event 
And we are coming with a message. So those bishops who are associating themselves with William Ruto, they have to know what is their position. Do they understand the suffering of the congregants that they are, uh, you know, uh, leading? Are they going to study with William Ruto or the congregants? That's happened to The church is rejecting Ruto. Youth have decided that they will walk everywhere William Ruto will go. They will be there not to please him, not to attend his event, but to send a message to him. So, ata kama atapitisha hii finance bidi bila iku. Na nimeona, ameongea mahali ya kwamba, wataongea. And it is a trap. Youth should be very careful. There could be a plan to organize some youth, pay them, then sit with them at that house, and then make a perception that he has finally addressed Gen, G, Gen Z, and they have agreed about the finance bill. Kuna mpango wa ina hiyo, lakini sijui kama itafaulu. Sijui. Because this protest has no face. It has no leader. The only face it has is Gen, Gen Z. But you can't identify with some kama nile maandamana yenye Raila anaitanga unajua Raila Odinga Kalonzo Musyoka we can call them and negotiate with them. This youth you will call who? And how will you agree on behalf of the other ones? You can only agree when you are cutting down on your finance bill. Cut down on your budgets. Work with what we can afford. Because it is us who give tax. So, live within our means. Not your wish. That is the message. So it is protest after protest. A president who has become so unpopular to an extent he has used huge security to attend any event. Happened in Mefika. 